What's good, everybody? It's your boy JTL Opposite from the Norm. And real quick, I just want to let y'all know about Opposite from the Norm apparel t shirts. Brought to you by GFAM G Wear. You like our show and our content? Then go to GFAMENT.com and click on G Store, and there you can purchase an Opposite from the Norm t shirt. Also, you can check out other great tees that represent true kings and true queens as well. Shirts that motivate and make you feel great. Once again, that's gfamnt.com and click on the G Store link to get your apparel tees. Now back to the show. Chill. What's good, everybody? It's your boy JTL, opposite from the norm. And before I get started, do me a favor. I want y'all to hit that like button, share this, leave your comments, and definitely, definitely make sure you subscribe. Okay, so I know Megan Thee Stallion said this a couple weeks ago, but I just it's been done and on my mind since then and i keep seeing other videos that talk about her and different types of females black or whatever color if you want to go to but when she said black women are not protected i had to really think about it because me and my partner hd said that you know our black women are the most duplicated copied and like unprotected malcolm x said that too guy rest his soul but we we got to distinguish why certain black women don't seem to get protected by black men because let, let's 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 think about it like this all right and i'm gonna break it down for you like this growing up you know i came from the hood i ain't ashamed to say it you know say i had fun growing up been through a lot of shit and you know once god blessed me to grow up and god god ain't through with me yet god still blessed me to mature but i started realizing certain things that hurt us in our community that i pray we work on to be better and I'm not talking about, you know, how people come against our community and say, how can you say that about the police when y'all kill each other so much? Like, I ain't talking about that bullshit. I'm talking about when you love your people and you love the people around you and you just praying for better and you try to help your people. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to better yourself. All right. So coming up, uh, I seen the Megan, St Megan the Stallions, the Cardi B's, the City Girls they were always into some type of shit. I'm just keeping it real. Like, and let me break it down like this. They were the type of females that fought dudes that was loud, always had some drama going on. Probably did some scamming. Like you see the city girls talk about what they do. They mess with dudes for money. They think they the baddest bitch. They call themselves a bitch all the time. They call themselves hoes all the time. So say if you got a dude, like different types of dude in the, in the hood, right? that just own a square. They just handle it in their business. They just work a nine to five. They have, they got their homeboys. They got their friends that they might, you know, go to a bar, have a couple of drinks. You know, it's certain type of females they deal with, but they don't really deal with these two females because they might be a little too aggressive. All right. Now the other side of the dudes, you got dudes who, I mean, let's call a spade a spade. You got dudes that's thugged out, commit crimes, robberies, beat the shit out of people sell drugs, go in and out of prison, got dreads, got tattoos, got gold in the mouth, shit like that. And I ain't saying all the brothers is like that or all of them stay like that, but I'm just, you know, I'm just pointing out the dualities of different types of people in our community. So then you got those type of dudes and those type of females, right? Now on the side of the game, while I'm talking about the dudes who just work their nine to five, they don't necessarily hang out with the dudes like that who in the streets. It's not because they think they better than them. It's just that's not what they do. You know, they might still speak, be cordial. They might came up together, but when they separate paths because of how they led their life. So they see those type of dudes, right? With the Megan Thee Stallion type females, with the city girl, city girl type females, Cardi B type females, Nicki Minaj type females. So a dude might be thinking, you know, it's all good. You know, they, they, they fit each other. Because you have dudes that just work the nine to five that might try to hang with them dudes and they don't fuck with them like that because they consider them lame. Or those females don't date them type of dudes because they see they, they feel they lame, right? So you got a situation where them type of females and dudes, they get together, they fighting and breaking up. Like they, you, they fist fight anywhere and break up. They cuss each other out in public, break up. They cheat on each other, break up. But that's what they enjoy. You know what I'm saying? It's like a... A match made in hell you know what i'm saying sad to say so you looking at all of this and you like damn well hey that's their business because you know what happens normally you get in somebody else's business it can go bad and they both turn on you you know what i'm saying so 
you just leave it alone. You be like, that ain't none of my business. So you'll see these females go through life dealing with these type of dudes, and that's all they like, the wrong type of dudes. Now, you can't tell that female she's dealing with the wrong type of dudes because now you're taking a shot at her character and her personality because she feels that's the type of dude she should date. And I've seen that situation close and personal where these type of females like those type of dudes. And if they get with another type of dude, they consider them a beta male. You know what I'm saying? They're not my type of dudes, nigga lame. So when you see a sister like Megan Thee Stallion, City Girls, and Cardi B, they carry themselves the way they do and date those type of dudes, you usually mind your business, right? You usually mind your business. Because if you get into it, both of them might beat your ass. It ain't got nothing to do with you. Get your lame ass out of my business. Then you got the other type of females like that. Like, say, if they going around and they selling coochie, you, you, what you going to tell them to do? Stop? You going to pay their bills? This is how they feed their family. Or this is how they take care of themselves. Or scrippers. You can't tell them to stop unless you're going to feed them. But they might not even like you anyways because they feel you lame. So fast forward to Megan Thee Stallion situation. I'm just pointing out these type of examples so you can understand why these type of females, I'm sorry, no offense, we have to separate them into different categories and they have to learn how to bring themselves out of those situations as adults. Because think about it like this also. Situation happened to Megan Thee Stallion. She said black women are, are not protected, but then she turned around in the same breath and say, I'm a bad bitch. Her and her friends call each other hoes and bitches. Now you want to say black women are not protected, but you're not the type of black woman that is making it easy for black men to be there for you. Like, let me say it like this. If Alicia Keys, Gabrielle Union, I don't like that bitch, but Gabrielle Union, or Alicia Keys no more, but Alicia Keys, Gabrielle Union, shit, Michelle Obama, or let's say Lauren Hill, if God forbid one of them get shot was to get shot in their foot the same way Megan Thee Stallion did, you know what would happen? It would be more of an outrage because we don't think those sisters carry themselves in a manner or are deal with the type of guys that would do that to themselves. Like look at Alicia Keys and Switch Beats. Switch Beats don't even carry himself like that. He a hip hop dude, but he don't carry himself like that. All right, look at Gabrielle Union, Dwayne Wade. He don't carry himself like that. Matter of fact, people think he gay. You know what I'm saying? Michelle Obama and Barack Obama. Barack Obama used to be the president. He don't carry himself in that way. Look at Lisa Bonet. She's married to uh, um, Lenny Kravitz. Lenny Kravitz don't carry himself in that way. Lauren Hill is married to one of the Marley brothers. He don't carry himself in that way. These women don't carry themselves in that way. So God forbid if something like that happened to one of them, I think it'll be more of an outrage because they don't carry themselves in that way and they don't even deal with those type of dudes. So what what I'm trying to say is sadly enough, and I know a lot of sisters ain't gonna like this, you know what I'm saying? But we got we have to have this conversation. It's for us. If you around here carrying yourself in that manner and you're dealing with those type of dudes that we don't deal with as men, what you think gonna happen? And then most of the time, these females will, like I said, and I've seen this plenty of time in my life, those females will deal with dudes, they get into fights and get back together or stay together. So you want us to do what? You want us to jump out there and want to fight Tory Lanez, but if, if his publicist didn't say nothing for you to come out and finally say he shot you, how do we not know you would have never went back with him? Like when she told the story of dating the one dude in college, and she said she used to be with this dude and think it was cute. That day he used to fight off and on. The nigga was 6'9". He's 6'9". What are you doing as a woman running up on a fucking man that big? Bitch, I'm 5'10". I ain't running up on no nigga that big. So you want me and a bunch of other men to come to your defense and do what? This is what I'm saying. It's a different type of black sister. Like, I'm, uh, what I'm tired of is this. When they talk shit about our black communities and they say we killing each other, it's not all of us. When they talking about thugging and pimps and hoes, it's not all of us. So what's sad is you have these type of black people that do what they do. And you got different types of black people that do what they do. And you don't want us in your business 
You don't date us. You don't deal with us. We ain't your friends. We lame to you. But you want us to turn around and protect you. And you think you're like these type of females think they more tougher than a lot of us men. A lot of us men know that line of respect, right? We're not going to run up on any type of dude. We know better than that. But you got a female like Megan Thee Stallion, City Girls, Cardi B. They the type of females. Like, listen what Cardi B said. She used to drug niggas. Make them think. First, she would make them think she finna sell them some pussy. She would drug them. When they go to sleep, she would rob them. And then sometimes have transsexuals come in and rape the man. If that man come around to go find Cardi B and fuck her up, I'm supposed to protect her now? Think about it, y'all. Why would I do something like that? Think about it. Why would I go protect somebody who's doing stuff like that to somebody? Why would I protect you? Like, this is what we have to think about being real. Why would I protect you? Why? Like, think about it. If you dealing with a dude that you think is more masculine than me, right? You think he original Dundada. You think he's a real man. You want me to protect you from him. And think about this. She said she wasn't going to tell on Tory Lanez. She said she wasn't going to tell on the dude that beat her up. That means you gonna go back to these niggas. Why would I come fight this nigga for you? If you holding him down like that. Like that's something we gotta psychologically think about. Why would I go fight Megan Thee Stallion ex-boyfriend. If she not gonna defend herself from him. If the police come talk to her about him. They probably gonna, she was probably gonna get back with this nigga. We see this happen in the hood all the time. These females keep dating the same type of no good nigga. They either stay with them or go get a new no good nigga. It's not the fact that a lot of black women are not protected. The sad truth is that it's the fact that a lot of black women keep putting themselves in damn if I do, damn if I don't situations. And then turn around and think that every man supposed to come to their rescue. Even though you say, let's say like. Let's say. A dude like, let's say Megan Thee Stallion go date a dude like Van Jones. Y'all look him up if y'all know who Van Jones is. Let's go say she date a dude like Van Jones, right? Do you think Van Jones gonna be beating the shit out of her with all the shit he got going on as a as an intelligent black man? Like, ask yourself that question. Do you? Matter of fact, do you even think she would date somebody like Van Jones? Do you think she would date somebody like Barack Obama who wasn't the president? Let's just say he a dude that got a a, a, a successful career. He because Barack Obama used to be an attorney. Let's say Barack Obama never was an attorney. He was just a lawyer. I mean, never was the president. He was just an attorney. Do you think she would date him? Let's talk about the dude that played uh, uh, Eldon on the Cosby Show. Do you think she would date somebody like Eldon? And you remember Eldon was a do boy for Cassandra on uh, uh, on the Cosby show. Do you think she would date somebody like him? Do you think she would date somebody like Cole Brown off of the Martin show? Do you think she would date somebody like Kadeem Hardison that wore the glasses on um, a different world? No, she wouldn't date none of these types of brothers, but she'll go date the bad boys. She'll go date the players. She'll go date. The dudes that make songs that disrespect women. She'll date those dudes. Because they seem so cool. Even though they talk shit about women. Even though they talk about being male chauvinist on their music. She'll date those type of dudes. And I'm not saying all men are perfect. But what I'm saying. What I'm trying to get to. Is the fact that you will have sisters that would disrespect good, decent, and strong brothers. But because they're not cool or popular. They won't date them. They'll shit on them. You gonna sit here and try to tell me that Megan Thee Stallion ain't got some beta male niggas in her fucking DM saying, Queen, you a queen, I'll treat you like a queen. You don't think she ain't got no white knights in her DMs or the City Girls or Cardi B or Nicki Minaj? Look at who Nicki Minaj went and married. 
Homeboy that been to prison like night jail 19 times. One of the conviction was a let was him trying to rape some girl. I don't know if it's true or not. I'm just saying. He got no money. But she's telling other sisters, if you're gonna fuck with the dude, he need to have money to take care of you. Now she's taking care of a, a jailbird nigga. Look at Cardi B and Offset. Cardi B, uh, Offset and cheat on her three times. Look at Megan Thee Stallion. She was around uh, uh, um, French Montana, Trey Songs. Look at the dude she was around. How can you protect somebody who's making those decisions? We say women have the right to make their decision. We have we say women have the right to ex to exploit and explore their own sexuality. So how can I go protect somebody who don't listen to me? Who don't want me? These are the only dudes they date. I'm supposed to go fight these niggas and these are the niggas she keep going to? No. No, we're not. Men Black men, especially, we're sick and tired of being shitted on by black women like this, right? And then they turn around and say, we ain't, men ain't shit. When it's really the niggas you date that ain't shit. And we keep saying that. And somebody might not like what I'm saying because they're not listening. But I'm sure all the intelligent other black people are listening to what I'm saying. The reason why these women are not protected like they should be because they're not doing what they should be doing. And you might not want to hear, well, you can't tell a woman what to do. That's fine. But don't tell a man what he's supposed to do after you get your ass whooped or shot by a fuck nigga or a fuck boy. Don't expect me to come and want to go shoot and beat up Tory Lanez now when you shouldn't have been fucking with him in the first place. She went to a party with a homegirl, Tory Lanez, and his bodyguard. She didn't bring her own bodyguard. Why am I supposed to go protect her? You know why people are upset with what happened to Nipsey Hussle, guy rest his soul? Because he died while he was doing something good in his community. When that fuck nigga killed Nipsey Hussle, Nipsey was giving clothes and talking to an older brother that had been down for 25 years and got killed while he was doing that. If, God forbid, God rest Nipsey Hussle, so if, if, if Megan Thee Stallion was in a different situation where she was helping some in the community and that happened, motherfuckers would have rolled for her. I guarantee you that. I would have been talking shit. But look what she was doing. Fucking with a, a, a fuck boy. These are the things that y'all sisters have to think about. Whether you want to hear it or not. Y'all have to think about these things. If you want to be protected. Keep yourself in a situation where it's not so much harder. For us to be there for our sisters. And if you don't want to hear it. That's fine. But deal with your consequences when they happen. If you a bad bitch, you a hoe, whatever you call yourself, then deal with those situations like hoes and bitches. Deal with it. Call some old fuck boys to go fight these niggas. Because we not finna do it. We fed up with that shit. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. And I just want y'all to really think about it. If a sister's not out here carrying herself correctly, how can I protect you? If a sister down there at Freak Nick selling ass... And she's surrounded by 10 dudes. I'm supposed to run up there and try to, hey, leave her alone. She gonna be like, hey, hey, what you doing? I'm getting money. How can I protect her? If she arguing with her dude and we run in the midst, hey, leave her alone. And they both turn on me. No. Get your shit together. Actually act like a queen. Actually act like a black strong sister if you want to be protected as one. That's all I'm saying. I'm sure people ain't going to agree. That's fine. Leave it in your comments. But we just keep it G over here opposite from the norm. Mm-hmm. So definitely make sure y'all like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe. Keep it real over here on this channel. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Chip!